What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, party people? All right, what's going on in my Instagram world, too? I want to say what's up this beautiful Saturday down here in the south. We are chilling. I am um, back in my uh, humble comfort zone right now. It is definitely uh, good to be where I'm at right now. Trust me, okay? Um, anyway, listen, we all had a good turnout yesterday with that uh, coach's um, little, you know, rant that I have about kids being coachable and understanding that, you know, the importance of it, man, it is, is extremely important. All right, I love the turnout. Again, I love the shares. I love the likes. Keep them going, please, all right? Keep them going. We are also, uh, again, tomorrow, I will be starting the uh, six-part series on the recruiting process from my eyes, all right? What's going on, Michelle? All right, no time, no see. All right, I'm one of my high school, uh, high school students, friends of mine from high school way back. Shout out to Michelle. Anyway, we are uh, today, right? I wanted to talk about real simple. All right, we are, we saw Mark over there up in Instagram. What's going on? We have today, I wanted to get into this. Uh, I, I got a conversation the other day with, uh, a parent and he sent me some film on the showcase environment that uh, his kid, he sent me some film on a kid and um, his kid and, you know, he was in a showcase and he was basically overperforming. And what do I mean by that? When you were in a, that's my topic today. It's like, it's the proper way to perform in a showcase. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it is it is nerve wracking. It is a lot of times it's out of a comfort zone of most, you know, kids, most potential draftees, most guys that you have to learn how to play in a showcase environment. What I mean by not just a showcase as far as games, I'm talking about, you know, running 60s, batting practices in front of scouts and recruiters and, you know, that type of showcase. That's what I'm saying. Not not necessarily um, a game, all right? Uh, I mean, you know, in-game type, you know, weekend showcases. I'm talking about one particular showcase. You run your 60s, your arm, taking your bat in practice, and there's a proper way to perform. It's a mentality that you got to go in with in that situation, okay? And this this is for the college kid that's doing workouts at his school or in front of scouts, uh, it's for high schoolers doing workouts in front of recruiters or uh, uh, scouts too. And even for like, you know, junior high kids and all of that, that wants to work out and train in front of, um, you know, their, a particular team that they're trying to make, a high school or whatever, right? So this is something that is – a way to show your skills, okay? And it's and, and, and it could be nerve-wracking because it can, you know, it's a lot of money involved, not only going to the showcases, but it potentially there are many opportunities and times that guys are getting offered strictly right after those showcases or during, all right? I'm, I'm, I'm witness to it this fall. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Charlene? So I was watching this film on this kid and he was at a showcase and somewhere in Texas, right? The dad had sent me some information and I was listening and I was looking at the film and I said, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at him and the kid was just kind of, I was just looking at his swing, but he was all over the place with his swing, right? He was trying to overdo it. And, he, you know, he, he was trying to pull everything and, get all out in front and trying to yank because that was his power side, right? And we all been there as hitters and stuff, but we want to, you know, show off in front of not only the scouts and recruiters, but, you know, in this situation, I'm sure there was kids from all over, maybe even the state or different parts of the country all hovered in, and you want to show out, you know what I'm saying, in front of these teammates and peers and scouts and recruiters, right? The worst thing you can do <laughs> is go there and just think you're just going to yank and try to pull everything that comes in sight to you to show off 
your power. And this particular kid I was watching, and I seen what was happening. I could look at four or five swings, and I, you know, he was all out in front. He was trying to hook the ball, and he was, you know, he was swinging and all out his butt, damn, you know, damn near falling all over the place, and he was just really trying to just do too much. And we all been there, right? And you know, I looked at it, you know, I, I kind of gave my little message to the dad and I showed him, you know, told him what is, you know, what he needed to do mechanically wise. But it was like anything when it comes to baseball, it was just a mental thing, right? It's just a straight mental thing. So when you're in these showcases, right, and tryouts and all of that, right, you know, from, you know, experiences, I've been there, I understand. And, you know, I host and, and do tryouts and stuff now and also showcases for my you know, older group in front of recruiters and um, scouts too. So what's up, Derek? So the key to this whole thing is to, what's up, Erica? What's up, Billy? The key to this whole thing is to be able to calm down and go back to your training. Too many times in this situation, right, too many kids, they are trying to impress and thinking the scout loves to see a kid hit a bomb down the line, right? But yes, that's impressive. But I that scout would rather see, instead of you hitting a bomb and rolling over and, and getting out in front and all balance and all of that and swing six, seven times and foul five on them off and hit a weak ground ball and then boom, power, hit on the power out of nowhere. And all, that, that shows inconsistency in the swing. So a scout is, or a recruiter is not, what's up, Danny, uh, Mr. Poultry, what's up, man? Like, you know, a scout is not going to be impressed with that one home run, especially to the pull side, okay? Unless it's just a just absolute, you know, to the other side of the moon, okay? That's the only time he might be impressed with one, you know, swing of the bat like that. Too many times, though, what, what are you showing if you up there, you know, as, a, as, a, as an evaluator, we want to see a kid who can hit. It's batting practice. It's not home run derby, right? Unless you're just that dude that just got incredible pop and you just hitting the ball all over the place and, and home runs wise, that's impressive. If you're hitting the ball, if it's outside, you're taking it opposite field. If it's up the middle, you're taking it dead center and it's pull side, you're pulling it. But if you're just trying to pull everything to show you a little bit of power that you have, you're not helping yourself. You're not showing your true power. And basically it, you're, you're, you're hurting your chances, okay? These guys, these scouts and all of that, they look at four or five swings. And the key part about this when it comes to a scout or a recruiter, all right, good ones, right? They can look at a swing and see who can, like, who has a nice stroke. Even if you go out there and you foul some balls off, you don't necessarily square up a ball, right? A swing, a good swing is a good swing. And it translates through live batting practice to game wise and all of that but what happens with kids with young ball players is they're trying to impress so they come way all out there their swing you know and w <laughs> the main thing that happens is that they basically cross themselves out because they're tr basically just trying too hard right so in this case and i hope you don't mind me talking about him I, you know your dad sent me some film on him and and he was in a showcase thing. And I said, basically, I said, he's trying too hard. I said, a scout will be so much more impressed with this particular this particular kid. And this goes for everybody. If I see a clean a, a kid that has a clean stroke, that's just bullet after bullet, it don't even have to be a home run, but just squaring balls up, line drive up the middle. If it's outside line drives, it's just squaring balls up hard, right? I love that more than somebody that hits one out of eight balls hard and it just so happened to be a home run, all right? But he's trying to, and I, and I get it, and that's the whole showcase mentality they have right now, right? Over the summer, I took some of my boys out there. We we did a showcase, and they threw the ball. They ran the 60s, which is cool, okay? But then they did this exit velocity, right? You know, the big thing is exit velocity, launch angles, and all. You know, I understand there's the whole sabermetrics and that's the big craze the last, you know, five plus years in this game, right? But the guy was doing meatballs batting practice up there, which is fine. But they were measuring exit velocity off these kids' bat, right? And they were basically just hitting it to a net. So these kids had these crazy long swings and just trying to 
hit the ball to the moon, which was, it wasn't even outside, so it was in cages, right? And it was long swings just to see the exit velocity off, off of the bat. And they time him and all that and writing it down and all. And, and you know, to hit it like myself, it's like, all right, somebody throwing 88 plus or whatever to these kids over there, they ain't got no chance swinging like that, okay? This long drawn out swing with the chance, they just, you know, just straight home run and seeing exit velocity and they were getting the time and shaking hands and, and, you know, to a baseball guy, right? And I'm listening, I'm looking and I'm like, <laughs> he get carved up swinging like that in the game. And I understand, you know, I get it. He's just trying to see, you know, it was all or nothing swing. He know the speed and he was just trying to, I get it. But that type of atmosphere, that type of, you know, weekend after weekend in the summers with these older groups, this is what's happening. So that's all they're practicing for and all that. It's almost like, I, I, I thought about it in my mind. I'm like, man, all I got to do is bring these kids out here and train for like like a combine, like with football combine, right? You know, they do all these things that, necess- you know, it doesn't translate in the game a little bit, right? But these guys that make millions of dollars who can't play a lick of football, but just because they ran a 40, they, they jumped up explosion-wise, and their their numbers on a, on a combine, NFL combine were out of this world. But then if you look at the tape, they ain't do nothing, right? They just, you know, athletically in a combine atmosphere, they just do – you know what I'm saying? Ridiculous things, right? And this guy's got paid millions of dollars but couldn't play a lick of football. You never pan out, right? It's the same thing with baseball, okay? You got these guys with all these exit velocities and all this, you know, you know, high, all these high crazy numbers and all of that, but what's the sense of, like, with an exit velocity of 97 or 100, whatever, and then you get in the game, you can't, your, your stroke is so long and you can't get to a ball. Or you, 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 you know, none of that translating into anything you know what i'm saying you hitting hard ground balls to the dirt you know what i'm saying and getting out what what is what are you what is that proving right so my whole point of this whole thing is how do you how do you like get through a tryout or a, a showcase without overdoing it right it starts with preparation like practicing all right i tell all my boys i said listen if you can't hit in front of some recruiters it's some, and I understand it's nerve wracking. I get it. I've been there. But if you can't go out there in front of some recruiters in the high school and show off your stuff, it, it ain't going to get no, you know, it ain't going to get no easier because once you go into that college campus, right, now you're in front of those college guys all the time where they constantly evaluating. They're making decisions in the lineup on how you're swinging, right? So then you got not only got your peers that some of them want to take your job, take your position, right? And so they waiting for you to slip up, but then you got the co- college coaches, the hitting coaches and all of that making lineups based off of who's swinging the bat well. So if you over there, you know what I'm saying, can't take, and, a, and, a, and I understand it's not never nothing laid back, but it got to be somewhere where it's, it's a, a, a smooth type atmosphere, right? Where everybody's just kind of showing your stuff, man. And the only time that you come up there and you're trying and you're nervous if you ain't prepared. All right? You have to prepare yourself mentally more so than physically. You can take all your reps and all of that. Prepare yourself that I'm going to go ahead and show out. All right? My little twin 12, my 10, 12 plus swings and all of that. I don't put the work in, in the cages. All right? It may be an unfamiliar coach and throwing batting practice and all of that type of stuff. But again, keep it extremely simple. All right? If I know I got maybe two rounds or three rounds, or whatever, let me hit three or four bullets up the middle to get my, my, my direction right. All right? So then I hit four, three or four bullets up the middle. Boom, they give you a ground ball, a line drop. Now I'm feeling good. Okay, now, now if you come in there, let me open up a little bit. Okay, but you will show, you will show these hitting, these hitting recruiters and scouts know so much if you take that ball that's outside, hit a bullet to left, boom, it's up the middle, boom, and you just, you're just hitting, hitting bullets all over the place. Okay, a swing translates more anywhere. All right. I'd rather go ahead any time out of the day and, and hit five, six bullets all over the place, all spraying the ball all over the field, line drives, right? Then hitting, you know, pop up on the cage and pop up and everybody, ooh, you just missed it and all of that, right? Just missing would just miss your scholarship too, okay? Just missing would just miss your butt in, in the field, okay? Start squaring balls up consistently, all right? That's the name of the game, all right? So when you go in these atmosphere, have fun with it, right? If you are prepared and you put in a, you know, a little, you know, I ain't gonna say a little put in the work, because honestly, this is this is what it's all about. In a showcase atmosphere, I'm talking mainly high schoolers now in front of college recruiters or college guys looking to play in front of, you know, doing showcases in front of these 
scouts and all of that, right? If you put in, if you put in the work, <laughs> it's showtime. You know what I'm saying? Like it's time to go. It's like, yo, I don't put in this work. Like, listen, I'm gonna make me some money today. That's what I try to tell all my boys in every showcase. We play games, not in a showcase atmosphere, but it should be the same type of mentality. Like, yo, I'm trying to make me some money today. That should be your mentality. All right. I'm trying to make me some money today. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Carmen? All right. That should be your straight mindset right then and there. I'm trying to make me some money today. All right. Let me have fun with this. All right. Because it should be fun. You're amongst peers, you're amongst whatever. And it should be like, yo, let me show. Boom. All right. That first round or two, then you then you show off a little bit hitting a bomb here too. You know what I'm saying? But we're really power wise for, for, for a hitting guy like myself, real power, and we're recruiters and scouts like you hit dead center and right center off a of batting practice. That's when you show me something, right? Because I could get somebody that ain't size is not too small here and there. And they could they could kind of pull the ball and get lucky down the line a little bit, right? I'm talking about real power is like dead center to opposite field. Like then then you showing something, right? Then you showing that type of power. All right. Too many times, you know, pull happy is cool. I get it. It's a home run or two here and there. But I'm talking about like when you in, are you if you're gonna show off your power, show it off that way. All right. That's when you start separating yourself from like what's was real power. I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, home runs are hard, tough. It don't matter. But I'm just saying like on a, in a high school field or even, when, you know, these college big time, you know, regular size fields, I know it's tough. But those dudes that's going center to right center, them, them are like big time power guys. All right. It's nice to hit one down the line here and there. But if you ain't that guy that's just, that got that type of light type of power, just hit bullets all over the field, man. That's how you show out hitting bullets all over the field, okay? Now, if you got the speed, you better run your butt off. Whatever your, your thing is, your arm and all, show it off. Show it off, all right? Not none of this, you know, all up in the air, just hard, but it's through the, through the cutoff, man, okay? If you feel and if defense is your thing, show it off. Boom, tap, you know what I'm saying, catch something, whatever, and throw bullets across the field. Bullets, all right, all across the field. Show your arm. Show what you got. You know what I'm saying? Every ble everybody's blessed with tools. You have to show what you have, right? If it's speed, you better run that six, six, six plus. All right, that's real speed. I'm talking. I'm, I'm talking about high school and college guys. Okay. Now, you know, for the younger group and all of that, it's the same thing. But you know, we're, we're dumbing it down for that level. Okay, same thing. All right. Bullets. Throw that thing across the field hard. Okay. Feeling that thing, try to catch every ground ball smooth. Do every don't, you know, don't try to be all smooth. I, I say, I tell my guys, like, I don't want, you know, I love Sundays, right? I love ice cream, right? You know what I'm saying? As you can tell, right? I like, you know, I like, I like ice cream, right? And I, you know, Sundays is, you know, I love Sundays and stuff too, with the whipped cream and the sprinkles and all of that type of stuff. You know, I like all of that, right? But I don't just want no whipped cream and sprinkles, right? That's the that's the ice, you know, that's the icing, that's the finishing touch. All right, I don't have a Sunday without the ice cream. I said that's the that's the move. That's the that's the routine play you got to make. You know what I'm saying? Don't give me the extra stuff and all this whatever. And you botching routine balls, right? I want the routine made. So do everything mechanically, right? Boom, step, step, boom, fire that ball over there. And now if it comes to something in the hole, you're showing off your stuff, and you make that play, then that's big time, whatever. But you can't make a great play and then botching three or four balls. That's right to you. That ain't gonna work. All right. So calm your nerves down, put in the work, have fun with it. If you can't hit in front of, you know, you, I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Learn it. But if you can't hit in front of some, you know, a few recruiters and some scouts from time to time, and then you, and your peers in this type of atmosphere, in an all-star type showcase atmosphere, then it's going to be tough for you, man. Because once you go up college-wise, you're getting graded pretty much daily on how you swing the bat, and the pro game is especially too, all right? It ain't nothing since you get up to big leagues. You got you got Hall of Famers leaning over the batting cages with you. You got your teammates and all of that waiting for you not to look good to take your gig. You know what I'm saying? You got the distractions here. You got, you know, reporters over there looking good. You got all these distractions going on instead of boom. And you got to focus right in there, all right, and be ready for the game. And obviously these are pros and stuff, but I'm just letting you know, like every day, it's constant distraction, music and boom and move, movement going on and lineups and, you know, press and all of that type of stuff when you get up to that level. OK, so if you're not used to if you're, <laughs> you know, as a kid, just calm down. Just be like, yo, listen, this is what I'm, I'm trained for. I'm going to make some money with this showcase. All right, I'm going to show what I got. OK, 
and the beauty thing about this, and I tell these guys, and I'm gonna leave it at this. When you go to these type of things, right? Nobody knows how you're feeling at the plate. You could be scuffling. You could be scuffling on your teams, right? You could be not hitting good. You could be, you know, lost at the plate. You could be in a terrible slump and all of that. That don't matter. If your stroke is decent and you go to these showcases and you hit bullets all over the field, nobody need to know that you ain't you ain't sniff a ball in two plus weeks, right? They don't nobody need to know that. Because you right there in that time, right there, and you out here in bullets, left and right. You showing out. All right. That's the beauty of these type of showcases. Nobody need to know. No, are they going to go back and look at and, and see your numbers? Yes. But in a showcase atmosphere, session of summer, nobody need to know. Nobody, nobody know. Nobody know that you ain't feeling good. So you go over there, do your thing. You in front of these college coaches, go do your thing. Nobody, need, you, if you're feeling good, good. If you ain't, good. Nobody need, nobody knows. <laughs> they ain't looking back. Oh, oh yeah, well, I heard he wasn't swinging yesterday. He hit when did it. No, they looking at what they see right then and there. I've seen it happen this, this past summer with a couple of my guys, scuffling, leading up to tournaments. Boom, they go right in front of this college coach and get locked in, hit two, three bullets and all of that, ain't sniff a ball all summer. And who that college coach is asking for? It's what they see at that particular time. That's the beauty of this thing, right? Okay? Get your stroke right. Make sure your, your swing is tight, all right? Bullets all over the field. Home runs will come, all right? First round or two, just 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 spray balls, bullets, line drives. Show that you're a hitter first, and then go ahead and, and if if you have the power, all right. Again, I'm telling you, real power center to opposite field. That's real power. Okay, everybody can pull something every now and then. You know what I'm saying? Real power. If you're a power guy, that's how you show me you're a power guy. Hit him center to opposite field. If you ain't that type of guy, bullets, line drives over all over the field. Spray him with bullets. Just scram balls up. Ain't nothing like a pretty line drive opposite field in the gap anyway. To me personally, all right. The only thing better than that is a screaming line drive opposite field over the fence, okay. But most guys ain't got that. Most of the guys are doing that are getting paid multi mills up in the league, okay. Show your stuff, line drives all over the field. That's how you go about this showcase stuff. Have fun with it, all right. A lot of money to be made. Have fun with it though. Don't put no pressure on yourself. Just put the preparation and the work in, and then just let the talent and stuff flow through with that, all right. Real simple. Cool. All right. That's my message for today. Tomorrow, I will be starting that six part series on the recruiting process from from top to bottom. You know what I'm saying? Six straight days, each day having a topic on the recruiting process from my eyes. OK, again, be there. It starts at three o'clock tomorrow, Central Time. All right. I'll start the six part series. OK, remember, I am only going to have it up there for 24 hours the most All right, each day. Only reason being because I will use that in part of my courses in the future, okay? Just to help the next couple, you know, group of people that are not seeing these. And I just, you know, people have asked me for that situation, you know, from, you know, my point of view with the whole recruiting process. And I think that uh, you're going to like what I have in store this, uh, this week, okay? Real helpful, just like everything else, okay? I hope this has been a help. Again, like, share, comment. Please, you know what I'm saying? Keep these ball. To keep, I'll keep this messages going. Um, I know it's Saturday. I appreciate the people that's been here. Derek, Charlene, you know, Mr. Poultress, Danny. All right. Appreciate y'all all. You know, Ray, what's up, man? Joey, Brian, what's up, Brian? What's going on, man? All right. Mark, you know what I'm saying? Charles, you know what I'm saying? What's up? All right. David, what's going on, man? I appreciate you guys being here. And you guys take care. Enjoy the rest of your day, man. Enjoy that college football. All right. Remember, start that college recruiting process series uh, starting tomorrow. All right. Three o'clock central. Take care. Peace and love. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out over there. IG. All right. Peace out to you guys.